welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a makeup tutorial on how to do this orange to gold cut crease kind of thing. Without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, I'm just going to be taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just going to be spritzing that all over my face. This stuff makes your face feel so hydrated, it's really nice and it creates a nice base for your foundation. To prime my eyelids, I'm just taking the Instant Age Re Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. I'm just putting that all over my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. And most of you would know that this just cancels out any discoloration, any veins, any stuff like that. So your eyeshadow goes on nice and smoothly. So I just took my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just blended that all out. And once it's all blended out, I'm just going to set it down. I'm just taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and just on a small fluffy brush and just cutting that down on my eyelids to set that concealer. So as my transition shade, I'm so I'm just taking the Too Faced Natural Love Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to be taking this shade here. It is called Spotlight. And I'm just going to be using that as my transition. So just popping that right in and above the crease. My Morphe 225 palette. I'm going to go in with this light orange shade here and just pop that right below the transition shade. I'm just blending that from outer corner to inner corner. smaller fluffy brush I'm going to be taking darker orange shade here on that same palette and just applying that on the outer corner just to darken it all up a little bit add some more orange into the whole look I'm sorry I haven't posted in a little while my boyfriend is home from fly in fly out and we've just been really busy doing some stuff and I hadn't had a chance to film so here I am I'm back when I first tried out this look I attempted to do a cut crease which I had never done before and I think it worked, I'm not 100% sure if that's like actually how a cut crease is supposed to look. I'm not sure if it just doesn't really work on my shaped eyes because I have hooded eyes. Alright, and going back in with that lighter orange shade that I used just below the transition and just popping that right above just to blend out the darker orange into the transition shade. I'm just going to blow it out so when I go to apply my foundation I can clean up this line and there will be a nice sharp line when the foundation and the concealer go on. If it isn't looking the tidiest on the outer corners then don't worry about it because you can go in and clean it up after you've finished. So back on that Too Faced palette, I'm just going to be taking this shade down the bottom here. It is called Makeup and Chill and I'm just going to be putting that on the outer corners to darken it up a little bit. I like to just build up the darker colours because I don't like to go in with 
too much at a time just because I find that it doesn't blend out as seamlessly when you go in with too much product and it might just look a bit too messy. Now just going back in with that transition shade on the Too Faced palette and just blending it all out. To cut the crease I'm just going to be taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and yes this is very messy, my Morphe 350 palette, one of the shades in there broke and it went all throughout my makeup bag and all my makeup now looks like this. Putting some of this on the back of my hand and just taking it on this small concealer brush. I'm still learning with this so please bear with me. Um, I've only done this a couple of times. Once that's done, I'm just going to take that Stay Matte Translucent Powder on a small fluffy brush and just set it down. I'm going to be taking my Australis Metallics eyeshadow in the shade Pearl Jamming and I'm just going to take that on my models prefer this brush came in like a eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be taking the flat headed side of it and just applying some product onto the brush. I'm still kind of sick by the way so I'm struggling to breathe a little bit all over the top of the concealer. The consistency of this is like really creamy but it goes on and it's like foiled and it looks really pretty and shiny and sparkled. It's raining again. The weather was really nice this morning. It was sunny for like the first time in weeks. And now it's raining. Cool. Once the lid color has been applied, I'm just going to take that light orange shade and just blend it in a little bit. Just on my MAC 224 brush again, I use this thing for literally everything. Just that darker orange shade that I used in the beginning. And just blending that into the gold foil. Moving on to brows, I'm just taking my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. My Chi Chi Brow Brush. My brows are always different. I always use different colours. I like to make them darker when I'm going out and just use a lighter colour in the daytime. So they look a little bit more natural.
I'm just taking my spoolie from Napoleon Purtis and I just like to brush out my brows, kind of just go over where I have filled them in so there's no harsh lines. Then just taking my L'Oreal Brow Plumper and just going over, starting at the front and down to the tips. This just, oh, oh. This just sets them in place and I just like to brush them upwards so that they're not all kind of going out to the side because my brows tend to do that. They kind of just like push over to the sides and I like it when they're kind of poking upwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup so we can then jump straight in and finish off the eyes. Just when it gets to um, cleaning up the edges of your eyeshadow, I just take my beauty blender and when I apply my concealer, I just dab it all on. And then when it gets close to the eyeshadow, I just really carefully pull it out and just clean up the line. I've already pretty much finished this, but just clean up where you want your sharp line to be. And then just continue blending out and finishing off the rest of your makeup. So now the rest of the face is done, I'm just going to be taking that light orange shade in the Morphe palette and Applying that along my lower lash line. So taking that from outer corner to inner corner, this just helps to blend out the whole look so that the top isn't just like really out there and then kind of just cuts off at the bottom. It just makes sure that it all blends out nice and seamlessly and it all looks nice and even. Then just going in with a small amount of that makeup in the chill shade. Just to darken up in the outer corner. And just to finish off the eyes, I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just coating that all over my lashes. That's it for today's video. This look was requested by one of my mum's friends, Holly Fitz. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know down in the comments below anything you want to see from me and I hope you all enjoy your day. Do you remember, girl, what we had? I was your first and still cool with your dad. Do you remember, girl, late nights watching movies on my sofa? Everything was kosher. Even before you went away to school, yes, I was mad at you, but you.